Sorry, a big old bird just flew by the window. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Look at that reflection. Hi, welcome to Viral Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. How are you? It's Monday morning. I just got home from the orthodontist. You guys, I know that this isn't gonna mean much to you guys, but I just finished up, I've been doing Invisalign. I just finished up the bottom teeth and moved to a retainer. I have 12 weeks on the top teeth, and then fingers crossed I'll be moving to a retainer. It is the end of almost like three and a half years, I think, of work of sometimes pain, annoyances, going for appointments. I don't love him. I hope he never sees this. Uh, I don't wanna go any further, but I'm being nice. Let's just put it that way. But like I said, Monday morning, I have a little bit of housekeeping and then we're gonna do a whole bunch of dyings. I dyed all this stuff. I'm just gonna hold them up. I dyed all these, plus all this, which is just slightly damp and isn't ready to braid yet. I also did some other stuff to prepare for weaving. I think next week we're gonna get a weaving video. I hope, fingers crossed. It took me forever, like I thought it was gonna come out today, but it took me forever to decide I guess what I'm actually going to do. It's sometimes because I sort of Changing the pattern isn't exactly right, but I sort of redesign color patterns and things like that. Sometimes it takes me a while to figure out exactly what I want to do. I think I have it figured out, but I haven't worked yet. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So next week I hope it'll be um, weaving. And then also the big, big news is that we are 150 subscribers or less from giving away that brother standard drum carter are you serious yes i'm serious i showed it a couple videos back i actually packed it up in um the box that's gonna get shipped in with all the like paper and stuff i might take it back out and bubble wrap bubble wrap it but it came to me not bubble wrap so i'm not really sure anyway right now it's all packed i may unpack it but i'm not going to show it to you again i will link the video right after we hit i think it was six thousand subscribers I became a dealer for brother and I was like, this is the perfect time. I need to buy one of these drum cutters to give away for when we hit 10,000. And it was like way out. I mean, I say way out, it was way out. And I bought it and I've had it sitting in my bedroom ever since. So now we're getting close to that number. And it's weird because it's like, part of you is like, we're gonna get there, it's so exciting. And then part of you is like, that's never gonna happen. So I have this cognitive dissonance about the whole thing, but it's happening. It is definitely happening. So at the current like subscriber rate, it's somewhere between, well, it, it would be at the current current rate, it would be like within the next week, but, um. It could be as much as two weeks. I never really know how those rates are gonna go. Sometimes they go up really drastically, like if another channel that has a lot of subscribers mentions the giveaway or mentions the videos or the channel or a specific video, sometimes it jumps up, sometimes it kind of slows down. I, I do look at those numbers, but in a lot of ways there isn't that much you can really do to influence it. So I don't stress over it and I don't always dig in as deeply as some other people do. When we hit 10,000, I'm gonna do like a 20 minute live. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna like celebrate. And then for the month after that, comments on that video, that one, are the ones that are gonna be entered. So keep your eyes peeled for that, okay? Don't forget, pretty good prize. I wish I had five to give away. Right now I don't, but you know what? Maybe someday. I don't like to think that that's never gonna happen. Giving stuff away is my favorite. I love it. I would do it every week if I could afford to. Unfortunately, I can't. But maybe someday I will. Maybe one of you guys said in the last live, you'll be like the Oprah of fiber and wouldn't that be the best? That would be the best. You probably think if I won like Powerball, I would never make another video again, but I would. I would make videos and I would give stuff away like every week. Wouldn't that be so fun? Oh my gosh. Okay, 
All right, so it's time to get to the dyeing. Let's go do this. It's all in my kitchen. A lot of the time I'm wearing a mask, so there might be voiceovers. And all of it's in the shop, except a few things are already sold. So by the time you see this, all the braided ones are in the shop already. The rest of these are not quite dry enough to braid, so they'll be in the shop if they're dry enough, and if they're not, they'll be dropped in the next day or two. I'm just waiting for like them to really truly be dry. So if you feel like it, I would love to hear which color combination or which color all by itself is your favorite, so drop that in the comments below. All right, let's go get dyeing some fiber. Oh, I just came upstairs to get the yarn soaking and look how pretty this is. The sun's coming up and lighting up the trees with the snow on them. There, these are my three hanks of sport weight yarn from Knit Picks. Okay, so here's my pan of water they're gonna soak in and I'm actually gonna dye this in the exact same pan. Um, it should be 12 ounces, I just wanna make sure. So I'm gonna put a whole tablespoon of citric acid in here. Normally they say one tablespoon per pound. So this is like roughly, not exactly, three quarters of a pound. Um, but I always like a little bit more. A little bit more is not gonna hurt anything and it is gonna help. In fact, I'm gonna put like another quarter tablespoon in here. It will not hurt your wool to go a little heavy and it is gonna help like certain colors just need more acid. I'm gonna use my absolute favorite dye brand. I always mix the different dye brands. I don't worry about that. Like I don't use just one or the other, but Pro Chem is my favorite and the color is Deep Orchid. So I'm gonna use my tongs to make sure the citric acid is dissolved. So I'm gonna soak these first and then I will get them in the dye. I just wanna make sure they're good and soaked in the citric acid water so that when they do hit the dye water, they start to take it up right away and there's no patches where it's like dry and it doesn't absorb. So see it's got like a loose figure eight. It's a double figure eight tie on it. Okay, so I'm gonna to wanna to be able to put all these in together at one time. I don't always do this, sometimes I don't care about that. A lot of times I set them in the pan and put the dye on after, so then it really doesn't matter. But um, in this case, I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna soak them and then I'm gonna set the dye up in this big pan and then I'm gonna put them back in. So I wanna be able to move them, lift them, whatever, really easily. So that's what these are for. John got me these heat resistant gloves off Amazon. All right, we're gonna leave this for two hours. We're ready to do some dyeing. I'm gonna mix my dye. Okay, it's 15 minutes later. I'm guessing we're probably where we need to be. I might be about to steam up the lens. Maybe. It's clear. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it's clear. I am happy. <gasps> Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna take this and rinse it and uh, wrap it in a towel and I'll show it to you when it's all dry. While I was editing, I found out I lost some of this footage. It's corrupted, but this is four balls of Dorset horn top and four balls of BFL Firestar blended.
Yay, today they were drying up to braid, so I thought I'd get a little bit of quick footage to show you the finished um, fibers. I am sorry about the footage on the other ones, but they did turn out beautiful, and I really don't understand why occasionally my cards will get corrupted and I lose everything that's on them. I try to dump them more frequently so I won't have that problem. But, um... This one is so pretty. The like coral and green and turquoise is just, for some reason, they're both really speaking to me. So I may keep a couple of these. These are the Dorset Horn. The BFL Firestar looks very similar and they are so pretty. There's the rest of it. It's not braided yet. Thanks for joining me for this dyeing. Thanks for joining me for this. I will see you guys on Sunday for the live. And if we hit 10,000, you'll see me live for a shorty. Um, before that, thanks. I love you. Bye.